Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is the set that I'm going to recreate in today's video and as usual, I'm going to use all Glitterbells products. So I didn't prep my nails or anything today because I am going to show you how I would remove um, the nails that I just used for um, doing my videos. Um, so the tips that I've used are from Nail by Lucy and I will pop the um, link to her website in my description box. And I'm going to start off by using Peacher Bell cover and I'm going to do a very, very small extended nail bed and I'm going to cut it into a V shape. So if you noticed there before I went in with my little craft knife, I dipped my little um, knife into the Peacher Bell cover. That way whenever I do the cuts it's going to be nice and clean and it's not going to pull away any of that acrylic with it. So the first bead I, I placed down was obviously going to be the smile line bead which I'm cutting into this V shape and the next bead that I'm going to go in with is going to be the cuticle and build up the apex bead as well. So I always like to put down the smile line bead first and get that into shape and then I can always go in and place the cuticle and build up the apex after. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a side view of the nails just to let you see how um, high I build up that wall that I butt my colour up to. So you don't need to really worry too much about building up your apex at this point because um, if you do find that when you finish the nail that you do need to build your apex a bit more then you can go in and build it with your clear. So moving on to the little finger now and I've went in with Lava Lamp. Lava Lamp is one of my favourite colours. It's almost like a neon orange colour and it's a colour that I use a lot in the summer. So this is going to be a three colour ombre. So whenever I'm doing an ombre nail I always like the first colour um, to start to cure before I go ahead and add in the second colour. So I'm moving on now to the pointer finger and this is Mango Fizz. It's a new one for me. I haven't used it in any sets yet. Um, I'm not a big fan really of the chunky glitters like this. I find that um, you really need to be doing a long set to fully appreciate it. And you know, in a salon environment, a lot of clients don't really go for that, um, the length of nails that I would normally do. So you, I think sometimes to try and get all this onto a nail, sometimes the nails can look really, really chunky if they're shorter. So I just thought because I do my nails that a little bit longer than normal, I would go ahead and show you Mango Fizz. So I am just going to bring this down more or less to about two thirds of the nail and up at the nail bed area, I'm going to go in with the peach, with Peacher Bell cover as well and just blend it into that Mango Fizz. Okay, so back to the little finger now and I'm going to go in with the next colour which is the Tropical Tonic. So when you see it on camera here, there 
doesn't seem to be much difference and I suppose there isn't really much difference there's just a, a shade or two so it's just going to give me that gradient to go back up into the ombre with the um, Petrobel cover. So now I'm going to go in with my ombre colour. So everybody does everything different. And whenever I'm working with a cover pink, especially Peterbell cover, I always like to make sure that I have my cuticle area really, really nice and clean. So I always go in with my cuticle bead first. Now I'm going to go in with what I call my ombre transition bead. So I've placed that directly on top of where the tropical tonic ends. And then I've just brushed the rest of that Peterbell cover over the top of it to ombre it out. So back to the ring finger now and that V cutout. So the colour I'm going in with again is the lava lamp and I'm just going to bring that up to the wall that I created with the Petrobel cover. I'm going to keep it um, quite small because I am going to do another V cut with this. So I'm placing the lava lamp down quite thinly and then I'll go over the top of it with the glass slippers just to cap it. So I will file this as I go ahead and place each colour because I don't want the nail to end up being too fat. So sometimes if I was just to continue to place um, colour, cut out, colour, cut out. Um, by the time I've capped them all, the nail could end up very, very wide. So if you cap them and file and shape them in between each colour, your nail should stay nice and narrow. So the same as the Peterbell cover, I'm getting in with my little craft knife just to make sure that those um, feet cut lines are really, really nice and crisp. to the middle finger now and this is going to be one of my half marble nails and then finished off with the Peterbell cover. So just to start off the marble area I've went in with the lava lamp and the snowdrops white just to get that um, transition area just nice and flush. So to do the marble I'm using um, snowdrops white, lava lamp and hot crush. So I'm just placing really, really wet beads of each of those colours on top of each other and then I'm just going to use the tip of my brush just to marble them together and push and pat them into place. The good thing about doing the marbles as well, you know, because we do, we will go over and cap them with the glass slippers. If you do by um, some chance not like the bit that you've marbled, you can just go over the top of it again with some more wet beads and just change the look of that marble and you'll probably see that I'm just going to do it right here.
Just to finish the marble off, I'm just going in with a little bit more of that hot, hot crush, hot, hot, hot crush, <laughs> just to um, make it stand out a little bit more. And on to the thumbnail, and this is going to be the same as the little finger, so it's going to be the um, three colour ombre. So again, I'm starting off with lava lamp, and I'm just placing that at the free edge, and I'm going to blend it up towards the cuticle area. And then I'll go back in again with the Tropical Tonic and finish it off with the Peterbell cover. As the thumb is a larger nail, I have not went in um, at the cuticle area with the Peterbell cover because I can go in now with a fairly large bead to do both the cuticle and the apex bead and I have plenty of room to make sure that I get it completely flush and um, just tucked in all around that cuticle and side wall. So back again to the ring finger and that lava lamp and glass slippers has cured. So I'm going in now with my um, metal board file just to make sure that those edges are really, really nice and crisp and that I'm keeping my nail nice and narrow. So the next colour I'm going in with is the Peterbell cover. So I'm going to do the cutout again as I've done with the lava lamp and the first Peterbell cover. And then once that has cured, I don't need to cap this one because obviously Peterbell cover is a core powder. So I'm bringing it up to the same level as the lava lamp. And then I will file and shape that one before I go in with the Tropical Tonic. So first whoopsie of the set um, on, let me see, on my right side, if, yeah, my right side, 
Um, I actually cut it a bit too thin with um, my little craft knife. So I'm just going back in with some more of that Peterbell cover just so that the nail is going to be cut symmetrically. So back to the pointer finger now and I'm going to end with the Peterbell cover again up at the cuticle area just to make sure that that's nice and neat and then I'm going to go ahead and place the rest of that just slightly over that mango fizz so ombre over the mango fizz. I am going to go in with another bead just to, um, just to make it look a bit more solid and then I'm going to go in with some hot crush where the, where the ombre is between the Peterbell cover and the mango fizz. And again, at the very, very bottom of that mango fizz. And then just to add a little bit more detail to that nail, I'm going to go in with some gold leaf. So back to the middle finger and the half marble nail. So I'm going over with the Peterbell cover directly on top of where that marble ends. And I'm just spreading it down and blending it in with the rest of the acrylic just to give it that ombre look. And then I'll go in and fill up right to the cuticle area with the Peterbell cover. So in with the gold leaf now, I'm going to go in first of all using the middle finger and just where that um, ombre between the Peterbell cover and the marble is, I'm going to put just little flecks of the, the gold leaf. I am happy enough with the marble, or sorry, with the ombre, I just wanted to make a bit, a bit more of a feature of um, the two colours coming into one another. And then um, I'll move on to the pointer finger and put the gold leaf um, at the start of the mango fizz and at the end of the mango fizz as well. I'm also going to go ahead and cap this nail just while I'm here. Um, this will be the only one that I'll show um, being capped as they're all capped in exactly the same way. So um, I'm just going to break up some more of the gold leaf just to go on to the pointer finger and as that acrylic has already cured I'm going in with some monomer and I'm just going to wet that area and that is enough um, to enable the gold leaf to actually stick to the nails. So the little tweezers that I was using there and um, they are the pointed nail art tweezers and they will be available on my website from next week and there's also another um, type of tweezers that are also available which are more of like a flat end and I think they are perfect 
for taking out um, the likes of the nail decals and um, the, the nail stickers. I think it just, it just lifts them off the cards so easily. So now that I've got that um, gold leaf on the nail, I'll go ahead and I'll cap them in the glass slippers. So back to the ring finger and the Peter Bell cover has cured. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my Glitter Bells metal board file and just crisp up those edges and just make sure that, that my nail keeps nice and straight, nice and narrow and doesn't fan out and make it look fat. And in with the next colour which is the Tropical Tonic and I'm going to apply it the same as I did with the Lava Lamp so I'm going to place it on quite um, thinly because I am going to go ahead and cap it in the glass slippers and then once that is cured I'll come back in with my metal board file and just crisp up those lines and keep it um, nice and narrow. So now it's cured as you can see I'm going back in with my Glitter Bells metal board file. So I hope you can see what I've been trying to explain in this video that um, you can see that I'm going in now just with a normal board file and I'm going in at those side walls making sure that they are nice and straight as if I was um, filing this nail at the end and um, doing my normal filing and finishing. So I want to make sure that none of that um, acrylic is going over my side walls and that is what can make the nails look quite thick and heavy. Then to finish this nail off I'm going in with Peter Bell cover and I'm butting that up against the tropical tonic and then I'll bring that right down to the free edge and that will be that nail um, completed and all I have to do is file and shape it. I don't need to go ahead and cap it because Peter Bell cover is a core powder and the tropical tonic and the lava lamp was capped as I went along.
so now that all the acrylic is cured i'm getting in with my glitter bells metal board file to do my normal filing routine so i always start at the side walls i like to make sure they're nice and straight and coming in line with my natural nail walls <coughs> then i go to the lower arch like i'm doing now and i make sure that they are nice and straight and coming out in line with the natural nail then I go to the free edge and I like to make sure that's nice and straight and the shape that I want it. So I've changed over now to a normal board file. I find that um, there's more flexibility in that for going around the cuticle areas and over the rest of the nail. I find sometimes that just the metal board file can be a little bit too rigid. So once I've done all, all of that, I always like to just buff over the rest of the nail, always upwards towards that apex area so that that is going to keep the height of my apex and then I'll go over just on the nail just making sure that there's no obvious slumps and bumps. So now that all the nails have been filed, I'm just going to give them a quick wipe over with some alcohol just to remove any of the dust of debris and it's top coat time. So we should see the nails start to come to life, especially um, as I've used glitter. So just to finish the nails off, I'm going to apply some gold rhinestones using my rhinestone glue. So I'm going to let you go ahead and watch me apply these rhinestones and I'll be back at the end.
and here is the finished set guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have you know what to do give it a thumbs up and stick around because i am going to show you how i remove these nails so um at the start of the video i said that i didn't prep the nails um as i was going to be taking them straight off so whenever i'm doing a set just for a video i apply cuticle oil to my nail and then um two coats of top coat cured in between each time so um, the little fingers you see is coming off quite easily. Even as I was filing it, it was starting to come loose. Um, so just with a little bit of pressure and a little so bit of wiggling, so the reason why I'm taking um, these nails off, off um, my Instagram followers, um, so I'm just going to do the same on the rest of the fingers. I think the only one that gave me a little bit of a problem was this one. So that's so the reason I, why I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping the nails it. on. Um, but yeah, it um, is literally just, so just in between my video. Trying to get um, um, my nails in underneath just to release that seal or the wood as they say. So yeah, I will see you all in the next video. So take care. See you soon. Bye.